Okay. Uh, okay. Also, also, fair, fair cautionary, cautionary tale. tale. I can talk and talk about these kind of things. So, so apologies, apologies, but also not apologies, also not apologies for, for rambling, rambling on sometimes. On sometimes. Uh, but it's, for me, but it's, it's just for me, it's kind of just passionate just about these things. So, <sighs> Afro pessimism. Um, so, just a really, really quick. quick Definition, yeah, of definition of sorts, of sorts for, folks for folks who are not in the not know. know. Afro pessimism is, is a branch, branch, if you will, of black studies, of, black studies, of a, a critical mass of thinkers who are understanding blackness in a particular way. And that way is one that understands blackness not as a simple or mere racial identity that is innocent and descriptive, but rather that blackness is a position of what some Afro pessimists like Frank Wilderson or Jared Sexton or David Marriott or many, many others, Calvin Warren, though Calvin Warren understand themselves as a black nihilist, not an Afro pessimist, and we can get into that if y'all want. But um, they generally understand blackness as a position of non-being. So to be black and to be racialized as black puts one in the position of, as um, like Frank Wilderson would say, as nothingness, uh, as the kind of uh, the nothingness that then needs to be obliterated in order for other things, namely something like whiteness, to exist. That's how Afro pessimists generally understand uh, blackness as a kind of uh, position of social and oftentimes literal death. My relationship to Afro pessimism is vexed, to say the least, because I am deeply someone who is rooted in, wedded to a certain notion. I think a deeply generative and complex and nuanced notion, but nonetheless a notion of, of hope and optimism. And I can talk all about the nuances of that. Um, but as I relate to Afro pessimism in particular, I first encountered Afro pessimism via Frank B. Wilderson in the third uh, in his book. So I asked him about